I'm missing you guys so much. But today, I've got a lovely little story for you. So, this story is called Lost and Found. So, should we have a quick read? Now, my camera's resting on my window, so let's hope it doesn't fall outside the window. That wouldn't be good, would it? Let's hope not. Right, I'm going to start the page. Here we go. So, once there was a boy, and one day he found a penguin at his door. Can you see the penguin? The boy didn't know where it had come from, but it began to follow him everywhere. The penguin looked sad, and the boy thought it must be lost. Oh no, he's very sad there, isn't he? So, the boy decided to help the penguin find its way home. But he checked the lost and found office, but no one was missing a penguin. He asked some birds if he knew where the penguin had come from, but they ignored him. Some birds are like that. Oh no, that's not very kind. The boy asked his duck, but the duck floated away and he didn't know. That night, the boy couldn't sleep for disappointment. He wanted to help the penguin, but he didn't know how. Oh no. The next morning, he discovered that the penguins come from the South Pole, but he couldn't get there. He ran down to the harbour and asked the big ship to take him to the South Pole. But his voice was too small to be heard over the ship's horn. Oh, look how tiny the boy is against that massive ship. So together, he and the penguin rode to the South Pole. The boy took his rowboat out the cupboard and they tested it for size and strength. They packed everything in they would need and together they pushed the rowboat out to sea. That's clever, isn't it? They rode for, they rode south for many days, and nights the boy telling stories all the way. The penguin listened to everything the boy had to say. They're in their boat. They floated through good and bad weather. When the waves were as big as mountains, oh, look at that big wave, until they came to the South Pole. The boy was delighted, but the penguin said nothing. Suddenly looked sad again as the boy helped it out of the boat and made it to the South Pole. The boy said goodbye and floated away, but as soon as he looked back, the penguin looked sadder than ever. Now the penguin's sad. It felt strange to be on his own, and the more he thought, the more he realised he was making a big mistake. The penguin wasn't lost, he was just lonely. Oh no! Quickly, he turned the boat around and headed back to the South Pole as fast as he could. At last, he reached the pole again. But where was the penguin? The boy searched and searched, but he was nowhere to be found. But look, the penguin's just behind that iceberg. Sadly, the boy set off for home. There was no point in telling stories because there was no one to listen except the wind and waves. But then the boy saw something in the water ahead of him. Closer and closer he got until he could see... What could he see? Oh, the penguin! Look, he's found the penguin. Oh, they're back together. And the boy and his friends went home together talking of wonderful things all the way. They're reunited at last. Look at that. Oh, lovely. So now we've made a friend. Got to keep forever and make some lovely memories. Oh, I hope you all enjoyed this book. I'll be reading a couple more. So, have a good day. Bye everyone. Miss you lots.